Hey guys, welcome to my video on eating vegan in India. It's my first video ever, so I'm sorry if I make a little, a few mistakes, like just now. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, but I really wanted to make this video because eating in India has been such an amazing experience. And a lot of people have asked me how easy it is to eat in India as a vegan and in, if you do a little bit of research before you go, it's actually really easy and it is so much fun and it's so delicious. So let's hop into it. First, I'm going to cover some general eating tips if it's your first time ever to India and you're kind of worried about hygiene and stuff like that. So a good place to start is to always eat at like a local restaurant or places that you see that are busy. Busy means two things. It means that one, the food is really delicious and um, are probably a lot more authentic there. And two, the food probably has a really good standard of hygiene there. So also, if a place is busy, the food's gonna go in and out of the kitchen a lot um, faster, which is great for you. Another tip I have for general eating is that if you're not sure about the water, always ask. A lot of the restaurants here are really good and they'll use um, filtered water to wash all their vegetables and to make ice, but if you're not sure, just always ask. I'm a bit of a chicken and I just don't ask. If you are like me and you're a bit scared, just don't drink the water if you are in doubt. My third general tip is to get familiar with the washroom. I didn't really know what a washroom was because we don't call them washrooms in Australia, but it's essentially like where you wash your hands. So there can be a bathroom attached to it. Um, but use it, that's what it's there for. I was like, what is the washroom? Do you wash your own dishes there? But it's just to wash your hands before and after a meal because you'll be eating with your hands. And I definitely do recommend eating with your hands. It definitely heightens the eating in India experience. And you can practice before you go if you like, especially with rice and curry. It can kind of be hard to eat with your hands, but it's kind of like a pinching action and always only use your right hand. Your left hand's used for wiping your butt here in India. But if you're eating, always just use your right hand. And to eat, you kind of you can pinch things together. There's no like scientific way to do it. You just kind of use your hand as a scoop and you can push with your thumb to get it into your mouth. With bread, a really hot tip I have for you is, at first it's kind of hard, so you can use two hands, but when you become a pro, um, rolling is the key to ripping Indian bread before you dip it in your sauce and eat it. On to the vegan stuff. As I've said, eating vegan in India is pretty easy, but it does pay off to do some research before you go. That way you can eat a lot more authentically. I've actually written out like a full vegan menu of like almost all the standard vegetarian dishes you can get from all over India. You can download the whole thing on my website and hopefully it should save you a lot of time. I want to start by saying that in South India it is a lot easier to eat vegan and gluten free for that matter compared to North India. North India is really, really well known for their like really rich, like creamy curries. Um, so, and they use a lot of dairy to achieve that, those kind of classic North Indian rich flavors. It's worth knowing that eggs aren't actually considered vegetarian here in India. If they're on a menu, they won't be under a vegetarian menu and you won't find them in any pure vegetarian restaurants. And if they are in a menu, it's usually really clearly specified. So when you're in the South, you don't really have to worry about asking for vegetarian food without like dairy items. At some places you might, but we didn't really have any trouble because in South India they use like coconut cream as a base in a lot of the curries. And I can usually tell when there's dairy straight away in something, but we literally had no troubles with any of our like dosa, idli. These are all South classic South Indian dishes. We found that they were all fried in oil. Um, at a few homestays that we stayed at, they wanted to the, fry our um, like dosa in ghee. So if you're staying at a homestay, it's worth mentioning to your family 
um, that you don't eat ghee and butter so they don't add it to your food because they they want to treat you so they want to like make your food as delicious as it can be so that's worth remembering um, but yeah in South India we had no problem when you get to North India though totally different story in North India I'm not exaggerating they love to put just a little bit even just a little bit of dairy on your bread just they love to add it to the top like a little drizzle of yogurt a little drizzle of cream you really need to be really specific about the dairy items that you don't want in your dish so it's worth saying at the beginning of when you're ordering that you don't want um, you don't want ghee you don't want butter you don't want a paneer which is cheese you don't want curd which is also called dahi in um, Hindi and you don't want milk and cream I think I said cream already, but I'm just gonna say it again because I forgot. So I wanna talk about this Indian Chinese menu they have in India. It's like, do you know how in Australia and even in America they have like a Chinese menu that Chinese people don't actually eat? Well, in India they have one too. Well, it's Chinese to Indian tastes really, but it is so good and you need to try it because it's really, really delicious. You won't find it. Chinese food like this anywhere else in the world and it's really good so these dishes are called gobi by the way is cauliflower so I'm just gonna use gobi as an example but the dishes are called like gobi 65 65 is the name of the dish or like gobi manchurian or um, Sichuan gobi and it's like fried cauliflower pieces in like a delicious chili, chili soy kind of sauce it's so good and yeah, just try different things on different menus. So basically, India is a super, super delicious time. I absolutely love the fact that every time you get to a pure vegetarian restaurant, there's like 400 things on the menu and you're like, what do I order? And you could literally order something different almost for the whole time, every single day. You're in India for like a month. Um, but yeah, it's good to try everything because everything has different spices and different flavors and you can find what you like and tell your friends. Oh, it's just really, really delicious. So that's pretty much all I have for you off the top of my head. I have written a 13 page ultimate vegan guide that you can download on my website. It has that full menu in there. It's got like vegan Hindi words that are good to know, like safe words and unsafe words. There's gluten-free information on there and there's a whole bunch of really delicious recommendations that you definitely need to try while you are in India. If you have any questions, um, I hope that maybe they're answered in the guide but otherwise you can definitely message me and I should get back to you but thank you for watching my video if you liked it please subscribe to my channel um, I will be posting more vegan videos I hope um, recipes and food snacks things like that so yeah thank you for watching